filtering your inner woes. Everybody say woes. 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 There's a rapper out there by the name of Drake, and in the song he says, I was running through the six with my woes. Hey. Hold up. I forgot where I'm at. My bad. Proverbs 13 and 20 reads, walk with the wise and become wise, for a companion of fools suffers harm. Now let's twist this scripture around. Walk with the dumb, become dumb. Walk with the stupid, become stupid. Walk with the drug addicts, become a drug addict. Walk with the alcoholics, become an alcoholic. Walk with the thoughts and you'll become a... Got it. <laughs> Proverbs 12 and 26 reads, The righteous choose their friends carefully, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. Now, we all have a squad, but somewhere in this squad, there's somebody, one of our friends that tries to influence us to do something that's not healthy for us or isn't helping us become a better scripture. For example, you're at a party. Everybody's smoking and drinking. Your friend comes up to you. Come on, man, take a hit. Come on, man, take a sip. Your mom not going to find out. You're not going to feel it no more, and I promise. This person isn't your woe, yet he is your foe. You need to let this friend out of your life because he is not helping you take the next step in Christianity. Proverbs 18 and 24 reads, one who has unreliable friends soon comes to ruin, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. How many of you have an unreliable friend? <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> have you ever been in a situation where every time you went out to eat with your friends, maybe one time you volunteered to pay? But the next time you went out, you ain't had no money, and you couldn't even get a McChicken out of them. Wow. But then you have a reliable friend. I have a reliable friend. He's actually my best friend. His name is Chris. He goes to my school. He helps me with the girls, with school, with work, work ethic, getting through things. When I'm in trouble with my mom, I don't know where to go. I go and talk to him, and he helps me out. But then you have the most reliable friend named Chris with a T at the end. Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ is there for you through everything and through all that you need. God answers prayers. 1 Corinthians 15 and 33 reads, do not be misled for bad company disrupts good character. My mom always tells me it's easy to get into trouble, but it sure is hard to get out of. If you surround yourself with people that are steady looking for trouble, you will find yourself in trouble with them. So these people that you surround yourself with, make sure that they're doing good things. See, the problem with our generation is we have too many friends but not enough Jesus. I've seen moms turn on their kids, dads turn on their family, siblings turn on each other. I've seen spouses turn on spouses. But one person I've never seen turn on me was Jesus. God has your back when nobody else has your back. So when you're filtering your woes, here's an acronym called WOE. The W is for watch. Everyone say watch. Watch your squad. Watch who you hang out with. Watch out every act when you bring up the name Jesus. Y'all having a little conversation. Suddenly God comes up and one of your friends says, man, here we go again. Talking about Jesus. Get out of my face with that. That dude right there, it's not your woe. He's your foe. W is for watch. O is for omit. Everyone say omit. Omit. Ask God to omit these people from your life. Listen. Believe this, wearing stops when faith begins. If you just get on your knees and pray to God and ask God to remove these people, it will slowly be done. W is for watch, O is for omit, and E is for expect. Everyone say expect. 
expect God to remove these people. God answers prayers, and God is going to remove these people. But remember this, when God removes these people, don't ask them to come back. When God removes these people, he removes them for a reason. A closed door leads to an open door. If you ask God to remove these people when they're removed, please don't ask them to come back because they're not helping you take that next step in Christianity. I'm going to leave you with this. Your friends are like the buttons on the elevator. They can either bring you up or bring you down. Which way are you going? Thank you.